What's going on everybody, Jeff Holiday here, and not a lot of people know this, but every now and then, me and a group of friends will watch these uh, series of documentaries called Hidden Colors. And what Hidden Colors is, is it's the worst, worst pseudoscience and weird, like, uh, racial-tinged documentaries by a guy named Tariq Nasheed. You ever heard the thing of, like, Shakespeare was actually written by... A black woman and Mozart was actually black and etc 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 it's like that it started with my friends Tyler Preston and Prince of Dew watching these and they thought it was really funny so they brought me and Patty politics we've also had Skepo and uh, live life has sat in with us a couple of times and so we just like to watch these and we do it live we stream it but once we're done, because there's just so much of it, and these are so long, and we also really don't want to deal with copyright strike stuff for having too much on there, we always put them as unlisted. So I'm going through and very slowly but surely chopping out the really super funny bits and putting them basically into, you know, shorter videos for you guys to enjoy. So this is the very first one. Uh, from every time I do this, I'll also have the links to all the participants in the description box. Go check them out. They're all lovely, wonderful people. Uh, they're good buddies of mine. And I hope you enjoy the video. The studies will show that the dominant population here in America, especially, and in Europe, have wanted to claim everything for themselves. And so they have made up a lot of stories as they travel to places. And as we know, all of the places that the so-called European or the white explorers traveled, when they got there, black people were already there. Some kind of black people are yellow. <laughs> what? Well, did you just say black people were already in America? What oh, the fuck? Oh, oh my God. This is something I have to explain to even Native American people. Native oh. Americans are actually from Asia. So there were yeah. no black people in North America. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh people my are red people are brown people. You as a black man are the root of all of the civilizations. Every body they've ever found, every tomb they've ever raided, whatever it was, they found uh, something symbolic of the black man, either our features, your nose, your mouth, your head, the way we looked, our hair, even braids, everything. Well, that, that stands that stands to reason. I mean, we all we all do descend from Africa. You know, the the migration of humanity is is it it all comes from fucking Africa. So fucking of course, of course. Yeah. I mean, that isn't to say like you know the seventy thousand year generational gap. You know, when people crossed over into North America, like you know they they fucking they changed because of environmental factors. They became Native Americans. You know. Right. It's not like Christopher Columbus showed up and, you know, everybody looked like they were straight out of Africa. This is not going to work. George Washington was really black. <laughs> was he? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the one that said Mozart. Is, Mozart was black. That one was pretty good. <laughs> Shakespeare was black, too. <laughs> <laughs> All his writings actually came from a poor black slave who couldn't even... Shakespeare couldn't write. Did you guys know that? Shakespeare couldn't even write his name. He, he just happened to steal... He happened to steal a black maid's uh, writings that somehow <laughs> were extremely intellectual and dramatic. Even though she had no of course. In of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fucking course, guys. <laughs> I'm feeling so fucking woke right now. They named Africa after a European. Africa was not called Africa. It's actually named after the one who actually conquered uh, the uh, Carthaginian Scipio Africanus. So they also true. The Roman uh, Roman uh, types of system is that the conquering general gets to name the region he conquers. He gets like, his name to be placed like America. In the region. So Scipio Africanus <laughs> is, is like they, America. They, America was Russia. Amerigo, it was a uh, Amerigo Vespucci, I think. Yes. Was the, uh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I just, I just threw some Spanish in there. Amerigo Vespucci, yes. Are they was... fine that we <laughs> reject the name Africa just because someone else conquered it? That's really silly, actually. Like, I don't name think they will already. I, I don't think they would. They would reject it. It's too much of a talking point. It's easily. It's good branding. It's good branding. But, but, but man, like. 
this this happens here in Latin America too. Like people are like, why do Americans call themselves Americans when America is a continent? Yeah, man, but they're, they're, the name of their country is fucking United States of America. That's why they shorten it like America. But people here are like, no, but we are all Americans. Yeah, for, who cares? It's just a name. With by that thought, <laughs> like America was discovered by Columbus, so we are all Colombians. Like what? <laughs> you, you don't understand that, like, the reasoning. It's fucking ridiculous. But here in like Latin America, you you hear these kind of things from the le the lefters all the time. <laughs> That's amazing. A certain terrain after him, so everybody should say, "Well, he's called Africa or Africanus." But if you look to uh, Dr. Ben's work, you find that it was called Kush, and you find it was called Alkibulan. It had many names: Ethiopia, which is, Ethiop, which is essentially Greek, but a whole continent. Did he, say, did he say it was called Kush? I could have like he said it was called Kush. <laughs> Another name for it was Sour Diesel. No, but wait, Kush isn't. <laughs> It's in Kush. It's in marijuana. It's it marijuana. is, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Holy that's, shit. That, that's some good Africa right there. <laughs> that's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> no benefit if we don't understand what to do today and how that would help us to survive. We discovered the clock. We did discover the wheel. We were, black man has never been a caveman. You've never been in a cave. There's no history of it. You've ever been in a cave. Uh, we discovered mathematics. And uh, uh, no. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> no, they didn't. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't. But they did. They, they, they didn't. I'm pretty sure they didn't. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, I know. It was the Arabs that discovered algebra. Yeah, but, that's the Arabs, know. though, not actual black people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the alphabet and writing and all. The alphabet. The, the alphabet. fucking alphabet. The alphabet. Does she know that our that our alphabet? What is it from the Greeks or or something? Alpha, beta, you know, yeah. alphabet. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's it's an evolution from 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 Greek. Holy uh, shit! <laughs> you have a discipline in academia called Egyptology. Now, what is Egyptology? They say, well, it's the study of Egypt. Well, no, it's, it's the not study the study of Egypt. Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Egyptology was created by the Vatican, in order to make sure... Fuck my Christmas spirit. I'm just going straight shitlord on this one. <laughs> that there was a screening mechanism in place to explain away the truth that was being excavated every year that kept giving them proof of who the ancient Chemites were. So Egyptology and Egyptologists are essentially agents of disinformation. Uh, <laughs> <where> else... <laughs> I, I, um, I have found the Japanese were formed when Ethiopians brought South Koreans onto the island and what? combined with the original what? people there known as the what? Ainu. Huh? The Japanese what? What is his citation for this? Huh? I can't stop staring at his jacket. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty cool, actually. I would like, like it. like MC Hammer on, you know, <laughs> crack. <laughs> really bad drug. Some of the first Buddha statues clearly had African features. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> That looks like an African to him? Oh my goodness. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. That's wild. I want to have African features. If you go to Thailand, if you go to Korea, <laughs> if you go to Vietnam, you will see Korea? Those statues up that head. <laughs> Korea. <laughs> Koreans God are black. I mean, everybody knows Koreans are black. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I mean, like, the thing is, if Koreans are black, we're all black. 
you know, like, you can see you can see the interim stages uh, depending on like if you go to certain like insular groups of mm -hmm. of of isolated tribes in Siberia, you have uh, entire races of nomadic peoples that are the absolute perfect go between between Black African, uh, East Asian, and Inuit. Like they look like a combination of all fucking three. Like you can see this shit. You know where the fuck everything's coming from. And it's fascinating to, to 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 think about, but this is this is not the narrative that they're spinning. This they're spinning this narrative that like there was this solidarity black identity that came out of Africa, and everybody from right. Africa is apparently exactly the fucking same. Sounds like black and supremacy. It and, does. and Africa's a country. And, and Africa's Africa. <laughs> right. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Those classical African lips. <laughs> Wait, so so are the black people who have small lips, are they not Africans anymore? <laughs> no, they aren't. They are traitors. Let's <laughs> check that out. Classical that African crazy. lips, hang on. Holy shit. We see that the founder of the Samurai Warrior. <laughs> no way. No way. Uh, they are so ooh. black. Samurais were so black, man. <laughs> that the uh, founders of the ninja system was an no. African. No. Oh. <laughs> Ninjas are black. Ninjas, Ninjas are black. Are black. <laughs> That's how they hit it. In Japan, so well. there's a saying that if you don't have a little bit of African blood, you can never truly be a samurai. Mar Citation. There is fire! Is it? The black man oh. dressed up like that. They thought that the Buddha gods had come back. Why is All that guy wearing a Native American in... necklace? Like, what? What is with that his necklace? Totally looks Native American. It doesn't look African. But I mean, then again, Native Americans are Africans. So what do I? Mean? Uh... Wait, but <laughs> wasn't this movie Aboriginal and Native African American? I'm so. I'm I'm one thirty second a Native American, so does that mean I'm one thirty second black? Yeah. I'm yeah. Have, yes. Yes. I have double hell. <laughs> Nobody can does get mad mean... at me for liking Wu Tang anymore. Fuck you, Internet. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm like half half a towel hell. Does this mean that I'm part African? Because they said like Asia, just everything from Asia came from Africa. Therefore, like, am I? Yeah, not, I, why not? But that melanin, though, it controls everything. Right. <laughs> Don't you know like, that melanin is a sign of genetic superiority? <laughs> have, you, have you guys seen? Oh my God. Have you guys seen the message that a black vegan sent me? No. Oh no. Oh, she literally yeah. said, she said that black people survive off the sun. So I need to stop eating meat. Oh. What? Wait, wow. the, the black people what? Survive off the she sun. Said black people survive <laughs> off the sun, so I need to stop eating. <laughs> Me eating she, was of white people. That's what she did said. She, <laughs> did she try and tell you that uh that that pyramid or uh pyramids? Oh my god, fucking Jesus! This movie is totally <laughs> great. That that periods are unnatural. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god, that yada nonsense gets on my fucking. <laughs> <nerves>. <laughs> I can't even remember the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> don't need, don't need white hate Oh my, he's gonna send somebody into a hospital. I freaking hate him. Dude, that dude says he has four wives also. Like, who the freak would that short piece of shit? <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I I I went digging one day and I found his uh, I found his criminal record. Oh my god! Oh my god! How does someone oh. that short get a criminal record? You could just walk out the store and nobody will see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cruel. A lot of people say that people like Leonardo da Vinci and Sir Isaac Newton they created. Don't say that. Don't say they were black, please. <laughs> Do not say. I can. I can feel it. He's gonna say Just something like it. that. Just wait for it. Inventions in Europe, but a lot of their inventions can be attributed to the African presence. That was. Ah, uh, fuck off. Ah. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fuck off, man. <laughs> no, they don't. 
was in Europe because there was a strong African presence and they were bringing in science and mathematics. So that's where all that came from. Leonardo Vinci, Galileo, you know, all of them studied with African people. They didn't come up with this. And I oh. <laughs> talk about Leonardo oh, Vinci. Oh, my God. No, they oh didn't come up God. with this shit. Of course, African people teach them. They couldn't <laughs> come up with this shit because black white people are stupid. You know, the whole thing, too, is like if this is just a, like slight little little isolated incidents of like, well, OK, this I firmly believe was influenced because of this African, you know, culture or this person or this historical context. Fine. Like I would I'd be willing to listen. But when they put it on everything, everything, you just you, you have to stop and be like, dude, come on, really? Claiming more isn't going to compel, is, is not going to convince me anymore. It's just, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. The only question that I have as it relates to Leonardo da Vinci is who was his teacher? Who taught Leonardo da Vinci uh, brain anatomy? Who taught him about the airplane? Let me guess a black guy. Who taught him this? Uh, tell me who was his teacher. Place your bets. They can't tell you who the teacher is because if they told you who the teacher is, they would have to tell you they were black. <laughs> what the spirit say? Motherfucking conspiracy! <laughs> <laughs> look at that! Look at that smile! Look at that fucking that, smile! Who eating grin? <laughs> <laughs> the Italians got that fashion sense from the Moors and the Africans that went in there. They brought those of silk garments. Did. Of course they did. And, <laughs> and and all those fly clothes into Europe. Even the, the concept of alligator shoes, which is attributed to Italy. The thing is, oh. alligators are not indigenous to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you never heard of a trade route. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is quality, quality. I feel like I need a, I feel like I need like a... I need a scorecard so I can hold it up for the mental gymnastics that are happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nine. That's a nine right there. Black people didn't have alligator shoes. Alligators didn't even exist in Europe. It, it was it. <laughs> checkmate, assholes. Black people <laughs> are not indigenous to Italy, so where did they get those alligator skins and those crocodile skins? They got those from Africa. The Moors Check brought that me. in. And the players wear shoes called Mori Gators. Those are some of the most popular shoes. <laughs> okay. Oh <my> <laughs> like what? What was the point of that? Like, like is the idea of trade something that props up the Africans? Like, oh, alligators exist in Africa. That's a good thing because it right. makes Africans. <laughs> Makes everything in Africa better because look, I <laughs> look at the look at the look on Tariq's face right now. He thinks he just made the most amazing point right now. That's what I dislike about him. He he's so he's so damn narcissistic. He thinks yeah. everything that he says is a the most amazing point ever. If you disagree, you're a suspected white supremacist, and and. I mean, like even he, if you aren't white, yeah, even if you're not white, he, he's <laughs> extremely narcissistic. And I mean, even if he's proven wrong, he, he, he refuses to concede or admit that he was wrong or anything. I had too many run ins with him. He's just ridiculous. Suleiman taught Mozart. Who's Suleiman? Suleiman's a, a Moor. He's an African. Who is Beethoven? Beethoven was Thoven oh. Bay. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. But no. Tobin, was, what? <laughs> nope. No, he just left. Come back. <laughs> come back, Jeff. Come back. Please come back. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beethoven no, is definitely black. Boy, Beethoven. Oh my goodness. <sighs> he was a moor. His mother. Of course. Yes. And uh, when he went deaf. Uh, that melanin kicked in. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, buddy, has your melanin kicked in yet? <laughs> your styler has it kicked in yet? When you go deaf, your melanin goes up. 
All right, well, that's it for the very first super cut chop up of our Hidden Color streams. Please be sure to go and check out all of the YouTube channels of the people who uh, participated in it. Wonderful people. Love them. They're great friends. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.